Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to do DVD update, and I believe this is number 11. So, I went to go see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here is my ticket right here. Booyah. Then, after seeing the film, I went to Target and bought some movies. So, the first movie I bought from Target, it was for... $18.99, I know it's a lot of people's favorite movie of 2014. Not one of my favorite films of 2014, but it is to a lot of people, though. And I could totally understand why. It is the Lego Movie. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome. This is the DVD 2 disc special edition for the Lego movie. Wow, to the slip cover. This slip cover is beautiful. Wow, this is a DVD and it looks so beautiful. I'm already going to say this, you guys. The Lego movie is one of the best looking DVDs of 2014. It is really impressive. And the reason this is one of the best DVDs of 2014, in my opinion, is not because not only does the slip cover look good, not only does this DVD look good, but the disc look freaking awesome. See, disc one where you add the movie is Emmett, and disc two is the special features, which has wild style on it. I like the Lego movie. It's a lot of fun. Yes, I don't love it like a lot of people do. I do think it's overrated, but it is a good movie. Next one is, yes, God's Not Dead. This one I bought from Target for $16.99. I really liked God's Not Dead. I am understanding from the looks of it that atheists are hating this movie because they think it makes them look like a bad person. And just so you know, if you're an atheist, you are not a bad person. I do not judge you at all. What the, whatever faith you all have, I completely respect. I just want to get that out of the way so I don't judge you or hate you if you're an atheist. I truly respect that. The atheists are saying how this movie makes them look bad. And the professor, well, I don't want to really spoil the movie, but I'll go ahead and just say without spoiling that he's an atheist. I could see how atheists would enjoy this. Some of you could disagree with me on this film, but in my opinion, this is a really good film that was really inspiring. It got me choked up, and I'm glad I own God's Not Dead. Next film I got is... Tower Heist for five dollars. That's right. The film directed by Brett Ratner. A director I know not too many people are crazy about, but honestly, I don't mind Brett Ratner as a director. And this film I actually think is really enjoyable and very funny. Tower Heist is so much fun in my opinion. It's a very fun film. It knew what it wanted to be. It was entertaining. It had a good storyline. Ben Stiller and the others are really good. Matthew Broderick was really enjoyable. Eddie Murphy, flat out hilarious in this film. It's just too bad Eddie Murphy does not make a lot of movies because I am a fan of him. I know a lot don't think he's funny anymore, but I personally am still an Eddie Murphy fan to this day, and I really hope this hilarious man right here makes more movies because he is just very funny. It's a silly, fun time, and that's why I enjoyed about Tower High. So for me, it's worth buying, and only for $5 at Target. So the next one I got is Fantastic Mr. Fox. This is a really good animation film from Wes Anderson. This is such a well-made film. It's beautifully animated. It's got a really good storyline, clever storyline, really good humor. And George Clooney, I just gotta say this, even though he does use his regular George Clooney voice, he was born to play fantastic Mr. Fox. He is fantastic as Mr. Fox. Meryl Streep is unrecognizable. Like seriously, can anyone recognize Meryl Streep's voice as Mrs. Fox in the film, like, cause I can't. 
And they also have others like Jason Schwartzman, Bill Murray, Owen Wilson for like one scene. There's a lot of great talented people in this film voicing it. And it's just a whole lot of fun. It's definitely a Wes Anderson film in animation form. If you haven't seen Fantastic Mr. Fox, I highly recommend it, especially if you are a Wes Anderson fan. And the last film I got from Target for $5 is Little Miss Sunshine. This is a really good independent film that I saw really late. I didn't see this film right away. I actually caught it on TV very recently. And after seeing it, I'm all like, okay, I gotta buy that film. I just gotta buy it. So, I bought it from Target, $5, and I do not regret it. This film is outstanding. Some dramatic moments, but for the most part, to me at least, it is very funny. And Abigail Breslin, even though she was very young in this film, brilliant job by her. Everyone in this film is fantastic. Greg Kinnear, Steve Carell, Alan Arkin, Tony Collette, all very great here. Paul Dano, who was unrecognizable here, is actually really good. Normally, Paul Dano does overreact a bit. Even in one of my favorite movies like Looper, he does overreact a bit. But in this film, he acts exactly as he should. If you like films that have some drama but for the most part have very good laughs because for the most part I would be busting out laughing watching Little Miss Sunshine, I highly recommend checking out this film. And I'm sorry if the line's going in and out, I am aware of that. But in my opinion, I really like Little Miss Sunshine and I recommend it. Well you guys, that is all for DVD update number 11. Comment below your thoughts on the Lego Movie, God's Not Dead, Tower Highs, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and Little Miss Sunshine. Like my Facebook page, 22 Tiger Dude. Follow my Twitter at Tiger Dude 22, and follow me on Instagram at 22 Tiger Dude. This is 22 Tiger Dude, aka Tony here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.